Hi, dancers. Welcome to Fuerte Boot Camp. We've never done this before, trying something new, but this is great to do if you are trying to improve your fuertes and trying to learn fuertes or trying to like do more. Anything and everything to do with fuertes. We're gonna break them down, we're gonna do some strengthening exercises, we're gonna do some ballet exercises, and then I'm gonna put you on a plan to get 32. So, if you wanna keep improving, keep watching. So the first thing we're gonna do is basically in my conditioning class, we do this all the time, a couple of exercises. The thing about the fuerte is it's two parts in terms of your legs. It's your calves and your hips, right? All those releves, you've gotta have really strong hips, really strong calves, and then you also have to have a really strong core. If you're wiggly woggly, you know, it's not gonna work. So the first thing we're gonna do is basic little releves, okay? So all we're gonna do is eight plie releve, eight straight leg releve, twice. I'm not going to wear you out. We're not going to tap today, but let's just do eight plie releve, okay? You can put your own music on in the background. Totally your choice. Here we go. Plie releve, just on demi point. It's really important to have strong calves. Four, and three, and two, and one. Straight leg control from the hips as well. From the hips, dear. Hashtag center stage. Anyone? Down. And six, some of you, unfortunately, are too young to get that reference. Repeat, down and up, and down and up. Good, use the core, stay over the hips. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Eight straight, down, up, shoulders over the hips, not behind you. Good, four more, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, stretch the calves out. It's really important you do releves on flat regardless of whether or not you're trying to do flat or point fuertes, okay? Calves will help support your ankles, especially in point shoes, and then obviously you need strong calves if you're doing straight, if flat shoes. So now we're gonna work on this hip. We do this in conditioning as well. Stand on one leg, doesn't matter, we're gonna do both. Turn in, pulling up out of this hip. We're gonna open and close, let's add arms. Open and close, and open and close. Good. Pulling up out of the hip. Again, I'm purposely not putting music here. So if you want your own music, do it. And open, close. We're going to 15. And close. Good. And close. Oh, heck, let's do 16. And close. It'll be even musically. <laughs> four more. And four. Are you feeling it? And three. Good. Two. And one, bring it in. We're gonna do front and in. Little mini fuete, doesn't have to be turned out. On flat and in, feel the burn. Front and in. If you wanna add the arms, good. We're only gonna do eight here. And in, good. Do you feel that leg? Yep, good. Come in, find your balance. Once you have it, close your eyes. It's very strange but it's good for stability and relax. Good, stretch out that calf, uh-huh. Now, just because you're not a fuerte to the left person or a fuerte to the right person, let's not be lopsided. Other leg, here we go. <laughs> Preparation, 16, out and in. Pushing all five toes into the floor. I'm struggling with that right now. Bunion of the big toe in, there we go. And open and close. And open and close and open. Close, good, staying tall and open, close, halfway there, open and close. Lifting up out of the hip as if you were turning, good, open, close, just four more, you got it, four and three and two and one. Bring it in, reset, little mini fuete and in. Doesn't have to be turned out. It's not about that right now. And front, side, in. And front, side, in. We're just overloading this hip because that's what you do in a fuete. If you're trying to get 32, two more, you're overloading your legs. <laughs> Last one, good. And in, find your balance. Close those eyes, good. And release, stretch out that leg. Very, very good. All right, back to the first side. Last thing before we do actual ballet. We're just gonna do that second half. This time you're gonna add the plie. 
plie and in, plie and in, and plie and in for your core, plie and in, four more like this, plie and in can be low, it's about the standing hip, good, two, and one, now guess what, hands on hips, we're going to do four with the eyes closed, it's not going to be pretty, but it's a challenge, here we go, front, side, in, uh-huh, front, side, in, it just shows you how much you use your eyes, one more, front, side, in, good, rest, shows you the value of a spot, okay, that's why we're doing this, to get your core to engage, so add the plie, here we go, front, side, in, and front, side, in, stay tall, front, side, already over that leg, good, four more normal, one, and two, and three, and four, good, two more like this, very good, bum, hang in there with me, four with the eyes closed, one, and two, whoa, one, and two, one side's better than the other, two, three, and one, two, three, good, it's just a challenge, you guys, it's to activate the proper muscles, so now we're going to do a couple of exercises at the bar before we do in the center. Okay, so we're going to do a couple things at the bar, not very many, because I don't want to overwhelm you. There's no need to overwhelm you on this, but we're still strengthening those same muscles. So we're going to do from fifth, releve and fifth, and releve, fifth, brush dégagé, and fifth, brush dégagé, and fifth, passe, plié, and up, plié. If you want to add the fouette the second time, do it, or just do in close back. Two, passe, fifth, and three, and four. And uh, brush, assemble, brush, assemble. Second time, if you want to still go on the or for normal fuetes, do it. One, two, and up. Plie, either no turn or turn, close fifth. No need to do on the don, y'all. No need to do on the don. Two, two, brush. Everything arriving together. Brush, and uh, brush, and passe, and plie. Ideally, for a fuete, it's like an imaginary string from your foot to your hand. Front, side, in. Do you see it? Front, side, in. Plie, same thing, in, whoops, fifth. Okay, here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, bar combination is rough, but it's exceedingly simple. One of the things I talked about in the, the Fuete video I did ages ago, like before any good sound quality at all, was 32 Fuetes or 32 releves. Yeah, goody, goody. 32 on the right, 32 on the left. What I would do, dancers, is alternate days of point and flat. If you're trying to build up to point, you need to be able to do 32 on flat for your calves, but I would also build up to the point shoes. So if you're doing this regularly, alternate. So you might have to build up to this, and that's perfectly fine. If there are some days where you're like, I can only get to 16, that's fine. Build up to the 32. It's a lot, okay? So if you have to bail midway, don't worry about it. You'll get there. But alternate days of flat and point, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Breathe. Don't judge. And down, up. Stay lifted, don't drop. That's eight. Doing great. Stay tall. Guess what? You're halfway. You got it. One, two, three, four. 24 is about where I usually fail in fuentes. Eight more. Down. Two, three, four. 
three, four. Good, you guys, doing great. This is it. Other side, down. Two, that was 32. Four, five, six. This is about the tempo you do, right? Down, up, down, up. You're halfway there. Down, two, three, four. I know, right there with you. Keep breathing. Eight more, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, you made it. Stretch, nice. Okay, dancers, so the last little ballet combination we're gonna do before we try the fuetes is a little releve to get you moving, to get you over your legs, and to work on pirouettes from fifth. Pirouettes from fifth are a great alternative to fuetes if you're trying to get your fuetes because unlike 32 on one leg, pirouettes from fifth are two feet to one foot to two feet to one foot, whereas fuetes all on one leg. This is a great alternative to get the shoulders around and to start feeling what that feels like. So you can always substitute. So we're gonna do a little releve, six, seven, Eight, and uh, up, and two, and three, su, su, and up, and two, and three, su, su. Either repeat or one, and two, and three, su, su, and turn, and two, and three, su, su. That's it. Three passes in a su, su, passes change. Pirouettes don't. Fifth, fifth, third one does, okay? FYI. Your calves might be a little dead at this point, so pace yourself. If you have to save this for another time, that's fine. This boot camp was not intended for you to do all in one go, okay? It's something to build to, all right? So up, down, up, down, up, su, su, and down, up, down, up, down, up, su, su. Either the same thing or turn it. Here we go. Six, accents up, seven, eight. Same thing. Turn, fifth, turn, fifth, turn, and up. Last time. One, two, three, and up. Good. If you want to repeat that, I have timestamps in the box. You can rewind and repeat. Okay. So, you've done your conditioning, you've done your releves, you've done your little pirouettes and fifth. I'm going to put the music on and I want you to start your fuetes. Now, dancers, <laughs> don't aim for 32 today. <laughs> what I want you to do is aim for one each day. So maybe start with four. If all you can do is four today, great. If all you can do is one today, great. That's fine, okay? And what you do, if you consistently do this video, add one each time. If you start with four and you add one a day, it's only gonna take you 28 days to get to 32. Right? And by that time, you'll have the strength to do it because you'll consistently be doing your releves. So I'm not going to do them with you because it's hard to do them with a the mic. And I want this to be all about you. So I'm going to put the music on and you do you. You do what you can. Be careful. If all you can do today is two or one, you started. Right? So you can always do pirouettes from fifth as well, like we just said. So you do you. Here we go.
All right, dancers, how'd you do? Write it down. Start a little notebook and a little record. Write today's date and how many fuetes you did. That way you can keep track and know how many you've done each time and you can see your progress. This part's super important. Don't forget it. You did great today. If you consistently do these exercises, once again, timestamps are in the box. You're going to be a beast. You're going to be strong and you're going to be at 32 before we even know it. I think what happens a lot of times dancers is we get scared of 32. I'm never going to be able to do it. I'm never going to be able to do it. I'm never going to be able to do it. So you never start. You got to start somewhere. We all started somewhere. And I've had many a show where I bailed. So it happens, right? You just do what you can and build up to it. You will get there. I promise. But you've got to do the work. So start with four. Tomorrow do five. The next day do six. It's only one, right? You can get there. If you like this little boot camp, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what other steps I should create a little boot camp for, and we'll keep working on it. If you missed the improv where I danced to Chopin's Nocturne in C minor, it's right there. You can click to watch. Love you guys so very much, and I'll see you next time.